hello and welcome. Session 130, Wake. Um, hopefully it's not the bad kind of wake, and this is more the, the nice, you know, breakfast kind of wake. Uh, but only the players can tell me that. Uh, so Let's what we're gonna do? Another funeral, please. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like, it got yes. pretty scary there in the spider cave. Uh, yep. th that's coming from the DM. Like, not that I was trying to murder you all, but you know, I also yeah, won't stop it if it's spooky. happening. <laughs> uh, so we left off uh, here in the cottage. Uh, you had discovered a couple things. Uh, one that uh, the the Fey pretty much kicked you out for being nuisances and threats and uh you've also found Celine's uh uh not hovel Celine's shack uh had a glamour cast over it to make it look a lot more accommodating and this turned out to be uh well a, a bit of a honeypot to attract the flies to the spiders uh because it seemed like the fae were maybe like abducting people uh you know, or people would be coming by, they see a shack, oh, let's go in, maybe loot it, explore it, rest or something. And, well, <laughs> cocooned and turned into a spider uh, by way of uh, this weird crystal thing. Uh, who knows? Uh, but yes, uh, you you had this. Celine went out to dig up the buried items that belonged to Selter. Uh, Mordecai, you, you know, you watched over her wistfully through the window. And you also had some rather contemplative thoughts uh, about, well, well a lot. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. just the nature of existence, the true meaning of death, uh, the the revelations possibly to come or that have been always around you, uh, literally uh, under your nose the whole time regarding the land and other, other things. Uh, so, you know, some meaningful introspection. Um, or existential crisis, you know, you're take your pick. Well, I didn't say it, but I'm also not going to prevent you from saying that too. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> it's easy for me to inflict like eldritch horror on you all because that's completely under my control. But if I can cause circumstances that have you, you know, break out into a cold sweat because you know you're just looking at a mountain, then well, all right, <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe something's happening. Uh, of course, we had Norali. Uh, who curled up uh, next to an unconscious, uh, an unconscious uh, Loki Adius, um, and uh, they were sleeping it off. Bright was doing some uh, some magic, uh, some rituals, and uh, setting an alarm for you all because rumor has it you all desperately needed sleep. And I am, I am a good enough DM to allow you to get a long rest. And with the long rest, not only does your level of exhaustion wear off. Uh, but the effects of your uh, level up can manifest in your characters. Uh, you all are officially level 18. You have all the hit points, spell slots, uh, benefits, responsibilities, etc., etc., hitherto for into perpetuity uh, that come along with being level 18. So congrats on that. Um, and you also got a I taste need to of... I for my staff to recharge. Actually. Oh, yep. Uh, morning will come, so if you if you want to recharge any magic items uh, or uh, portents as well, bright uh, as you will, you will be receiving your portents. Oh no! Gross. Well, <laughs> it's a <Gross>. it's something. <laughs> it's not full, but it's not empty either. So it's bad. <laughs> I think I also need to roll for my staff. Yep, you all wake up, you unplug your staffs from the, the USBs that was recharging them, you know. <laughs> Get them out in the sunlight, that's how they recharge. Yeah. <laughs> 20, mm, 24. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Actually, that's, that's actually well over full for me. So I am full. In the uh, in the workshop last night, I, I made the point after going on a Taco Bell run that to to many people, uh, of course, in the ancient world, but maybe even not even fifty years ago or so, like the the drinks I brought back alone from Taco Bell. There's Baja Blast and the Mango one. Like th those are magic potions. They come in brilliant colors. 
that don't exist mm. in nature. It's it's carbonated. There's ice manifested in these drinks. They taste sweet. They energize your body. Uh, like it, it is a sorcery of the of the highest uh, of the highest manner. And so like and, and so even in that regard, like something like this. Yes, you wake up and you expect this to be recharged like your staff would in a in a D and D setting. So. Have have we really come so far from the ancient days of uh, of the Forgotten Realms and, and other uh, other settings? Uh, I will say that I'm pretty sure mango comes in that color naturally. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, like the, the the skin and whatnot, but I like to harvest the essence of it in liquid form like that. Uh, especially if it doesn't if it doesn't feel or taste, not like soap, not like a cilantro weird genetic thing, but like. Mangoes are just super slippery. Like, they're just like... Yeah. You know. <laughs> they go down extra smooth. Uh, ooh, all right. Duly noted, Bright. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so, of course, you wake up uh, having dreams and or nightmares or, well, whatever portents uh, you will have uh, when the time is right. And um, you have a uh, you have a long rest. Never, never actually changed bum, bum, that album. Yes. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, so make sure all of your all of your characters are leveled up, and that you are. Sorry, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon lately. So no. Damn. I have to yeah. re-prepare all these spells. So. Yeah. <laughs> I also have to Gosh, spells. waiting on the wizard again. I also have to okay. prepare spells. Okay. Okay. I I was going to ask. I should have asked this off, off, off camera, but I was going to ask if I could take Sunburst, but flavor it into lightning damage. Uh... So an 8th level spell. It does Radiant normally. Is... Is that something that's not normal? Oh, you just want to you just want to redo the, uh, the the just the damage type. Okay. Yeah, just the damage type. Yeah, you're you're a, a storm sorcerer. Totally not a uh, a wild magic sorcerer anymore. Uh, so sure, you you can make it stormy. Oh, hey. fudge! Bright. I was supposed to look at something for you. Ah. Uh, it's okay. You might end up making a ruling on the fly if it comes up, if you don't make it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I'll have to... If it comes up, I'll make a ruling on the fly. Until then, you caught me with my fly down, I guess. So, uh, sorry that I didn't get back to you on that. That That is completely my fault, although there are there are reasons I've been hither and thither. Uh, so. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's completely... Y'all need to put down some, like, glue paper to just get me to stop for a second and just, like, no, or, or whatever, like, a, well, we can make a dog and I, like, grab me by the collar, put it right in front of my nose, and, you know, <laughs> you gotta reinforce it. <laughs> Do the thing. I, I am kind of in need of a leather ruling. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, th th this is the whole time. Go ahead. Prismatic wall. Oh. So... Prismatic wall. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's there's some internet debate. And I'm not sure if it is even a matter regarding voluntary versus involuntary movement as it relates to prismatic wall. Uh, some people contend that prismatic wall only takes effect if the movement was voluntary. Um, and there's like cheese for involuntary movement that you can pass through it. And I I don't like cheese. <laughs> But I, I don't. I just want it to work like it seems like it should work. Anybody who hits the wall is affected. Uh. Okay, let me go to it real quick. Interestingly it's enough, it. Yeah, nice. Uh, there is uh, th there is some errata. But it has nothing to do. It says the spell no longer refers to a rod of cancellation, and the text clarifies that the spell magic works only against the violet layer. Yeah. Um. Those were not the things that needed to be clarified. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> we, we solved every problem but the one that that needed uh, that needed solving. Um. The rod of cancellation is just not in the game, so it's not. Me. 
meta, then we the dispel magic was pretty clear. Okay, All so right, a there. shimmering multicolored plane of light forms a vertical <laughs> opaque wall up to 90 feet long, 30 feet high, and one inch thick. Centered on a point you can see within range. Alternatively, you can shape the wall into a, a sphere up to 30 feet in diameter, centered on a point you choose within range. The wall remains in place for the duration. If you position the wall so that it passes through a space occupied by a creature, the spell fails, and your action and the spell slot are wasted. The wall sheds bright light out to a range of 100 feet, dim light for an additional. You and creatures you designate at the time you cast the spell can pass through... Uh, and remain near the wall without harm. If another creature that can see the wall moves to within 20 feet of it, or starts its turn there, uh, the creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or become blinded for a minute. Wall consists of seven layers. Oh, okay, but the, the contention was that paragraph, it seemed. The, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> if another creature that can see the wall moves to within no, 20 feet of it. No, it's that's that, that paragraph is straight. It's the one after, where oh. it says, when a creature attempts to reach into or pass through the wall, and the contention is that only applies to voluntary acts, but I don't think that makes sense, because then you could just, like, throw things through, and then it wouldn't, work, wouldn't do anything useful, so. Yeah, I see. So I guess the keyword would be attempt is a willful, like. Attempt to pass through it sounds like a willful Well, thing. that's what people say, but at the same time, if it's if it's only voluntary, then the spell is pretty much trash, because anybody can just chuck, them, chuck their friends through it, and it does nothing. Presumably, if you close your eyes... You could pass through it as well, because it uh, the creature has to see the wall. Well, that's only for the blind. The rest of it, like you can't close your eyes and prevent fire damage. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, a lot of people yeah, attempted because that's one of the last things they do when a fireball is coming your way. Is they go. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> As it passes or reaches through each layer, the creature must make a dexterity saving throw or be affected by that property. Uh, it, it, so, it's... Uh... I would argue that chucking your friends in when they're the ones who came up with the idea is still voluntary movement. Let's let's just table this and we can rule it out, okay. of, out of band because I don't want to hold up the game because we have hard stop and it's not that important because I'm probably not going to use it today. Anymore. So I will okay. just suspend that particular All right. choice of spell. I have another spell from my last level that was also deferred, so we yes. need to we need to resolve that with the whole demi plane thing. Uh, so <laughs> I've got I've got two spells pending. <laughs> it's always the wizard. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> pending ruling plus another ruling for which I have a lot of rulings. <laughs> Can you just be so, boring and take all damage spells like everyone does? Because that's optimal. Come on. Yeah, but uh, it's not really optimal because nothing's better than fireball. No. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Uh, is uh, is Norali replacing any spells on this level up? Uh, yes, I was replacing teleport with with uh. Now dubbed uh, Spark Burst. Oh, gotcha. All right, Spark Burst. And then, uh, did you get a new? Did you get a new spell this this level, or are you just swapping uh, one out? This I probably just, is... I just did a swap. Yeah. Okay. That and a spell slot. All right. Oh, and sorcery points. You get more of those too. Yeah. All right. Don't you like spell? I thought you like spell every. Yeah, new spell every every level in it. Or is, yep. or is there a. There's a chart, I think, on sorcerers that in number of known spells. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I think I think it actually saves the same for the rest of my uh, the rest of my character. Yeah. Meanwhile, but wizards I, I like I have all the spells. The clerics thing. say I have all the spells. <laughs> Nor like it's I mean, some spells. There's 
there's the availability for all the spells. Well, yeah, all the spells on your list. But... All right. Well, uh, you have that. You, you all got your hit points. You increased your hit dice. Um, and you made note of the uh, the treasures that were scooped up by the uh, by the smushing hand. Uh, I think then it's, it's coffee's job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... I have been keeping track. Yes, Deferral. I am the party accountant. <laughs> <laughs> Anything monetary, I keep track of. Uh, all right then. So you had uh, you had contacted. Well, I think it was Celine sent a message or someone. Yes, yeah, Celine sent a message yeah. to Cipher. Uh, Cipher said, "All right, we'll be on our way, but you're going to have to wait a day, and I, that seemed to be fine by you all because most of that day was going to be spent being unconscious, or at least mm -hmm. you know resting and not moving around a whole bunch. Uh, so you will wake up six to eight hours later. You will have time." to prepare, you know, your spells, uh, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it is going to be sometime, we'll just say in the afternoon, to sort of round everything out. Um, for those of you that need to eat, you are probably hungry. Um, so I would recommend eating something. Uh, it is a non... It is not raining or storming here, but you are in this, uh, in this valley in the Dragon Graveyard. Um, you still have time to be picked up, so if you want to stay in the shack, you can stay in the shack. If you want to go wandering, you can, you know, wander in the area. It's not like when the Repentless gets close to your position, you'll miss it, uh, considering the Repentless. <laughs> uh, so what is it you would like to do? It's a brand new day, and, uh, you feel... I don't know, you, you all feel more invigorated or however you you want to translate it. For sure, there's a, there's something about you all that has increased or uh, that has, maybe you feel more powerful or you look more powerful in some way, that there's some sort of a physical manifestation to this. Um, but, no. The ball is, is in your court. Awake? Yep. And if you uh, if you want to fast travel to the pickup, you can too. But this is me indicating you do have a, a minor downtime. Is my Morning. video not working? Uh, uh, I will. I I'll refresh on my it. end. I I do not see either. You also sound like you're on a different mic. Yeah, I don't see your video. Yeah, you you do sound like maybe you're talking on a. Like a headset mic I, I or something. I don't know. I mean, it's just my usual mic. Oh. I don't think no. I've changed it. Weird. Um, yeah, does it really sound, sound different? Oh, hey, there you are. It sounds it, like you're talking through your phone. It, it did, at least definitely. originally. Yeah. Huh. I'm definitely not talking through my phone. Using my, this is my same headset as always. Okay. Mm. You sure? Are you Weird. sure? Oh, well, at least originally, now that I'm sure? listening... It sounds normal now? But yeah, earlier it did seem... It's, or at least it sounded distant or something, yeah. Huh. Well, I might have had it mispositioned. Ah, uh, those floofs get in the my way. My microphone and my floofs get in each other. Hey, oh. It... I have interfaces. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's better. That's better. <laughs> okay, yay. I feel better now. There you go. Your, your correspondence wand is in place. Okay, yay. <laughs> my my uh, sending plastics. Yes. <laughs> While Mordecai doesn't necessarily have any food on him, he's going to attempt to put together some kind of food. Uh, that might actually that might actually dictate one of the spells that he takes if he hit, if there's no no food around. Yeah, I don't think I have any food. Um, we we stopped worrying about food a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we just assumed we had it on us. <laughs> or even uh, we had magic food, or like we were in town and just had access to food. <laughs> yeah, level eighteen you know problems. Is, Where's breakfast? That is, that's gonna dictate one of the spells I take. Okay, well, that's maybe, one of my spells. Maybe today. Celine can create food since she's not here. 
Well, I guess, yeah, I guess prepared, create food and water. Yeah, both of or, you have uh, it as clerics. Yeah, have Celine prepare it. Okay. That just be on one of her one of her prepared spells for the day. Okay. Uh, Celine. Oh, you know what? I will. Uh, let me open up her character sheet in case anything happens. We can pilot her. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so she will cast. Uh, create. Uh, what what level spell is that? Uh, third. A third? Alright, I'll take one of her... Yeah, it just creates, you know, bland, but nutritious food. Yeah. Uh, she totally remembers what food tastes like. Uh, being a, uh, a former, uh, food consumer herself. And, uh, she will... Oh, yeah, alright. Uh, so... Not that there's, like, a save or anything into it. This is just more for cosmetic. But uh, she uh, she does uh, conjure up for you all uh, something like a, a nice breakfast, a, a way to celebrate. Think of it a little bit like the, uh, the feast in the movie Hook, uh, where it just sort of, like, appears, and it's like, oh, it's just a bunch of steam, and then you really got to believe, and then it's food. Um... So it looks it looks fantastic, but you know it may not taste the best, but it does fill your belly. Nor a lie that totally looks like a cookie, and you were deceived. Um, but it really looked like a cookie. Uh, she did a good job simulating the. Uh, that's the appearance. Like a cookie. Yeah. It doesn't taste like a cookie. At least. He's like a raisin. <laughs> Is Loki awake? Uh, yes. Uh, with uh, a little bit, like he'll probably be one of the last ones to wake up. Might take a little bit of rousing to do, but uh, Loki will also wake up. Um, he he does appear to be like kind of roughed up. Still has bruises and whatnot over his body. Uh, kind of uh, he's holding his head. Uh, you can see that uh, one of his horns is chipped off. Um. And he kind of groans and grumbles as he, like, uh, he sits up in bed. Morning. Morning. His eyes are bleary, blinks them. Mor Who are you? Name's Mordecai. We met once, remember? Loki! And I'm just going to hug him way too tightly. <laughs> yeah, you tackle me, he falls back, and, uh, um... Oh, yeah, there's that one. <laughs> Norali, no, good, good morning to you. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, this, I... What? Wow, I have a headache. Uh, do we, do we have anything that... <laughs> Is there some water or something I can have? Um, um, there's like magic food. Don't try the cookies. They're not they're not cookie flavored. Yeah. And yeah, right. there's there's water that we can make tea or coffee with if you want. I <sighs> Actually, I realize I don't have any tea or coffee on me. <laughs> Never mind. It's just water. You can make it hot. <laughs> can we just magic the tea? Because we magic everything else. It well, might not taste like tea because the cookies sure didn't taste like cookies. Okay. Well, yes. Apparently it looks like tea leaves, but it's not actually tea. It's just water. <laughs> you can press it digitate. It's like, you know, it's like saccharin. It's sort of like a fake, you know, flavor you sprinkle in there or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So Mordecai, hi, Nor Norla, you. He looks at you, Mordecai. Looks over to you, Norlai. He's a little old for you, isn't he? 
no, that's not my boyfriend. My boyfriend, my boyfriend's uh, in in an old part right now. Uh, ew. She's more like a sister to me than. Norla, you replace me? No, he just thinks of me as a sister. Uh, but I've been trying to look for you for like. Uh, how much time has passed? Like three years, maybe? It felt like longer. Well, it's happened now for a while. You've. Where. Where are we? Dragon Graveyard. Uh, Celine's hut. Or shack. Definitely not a hovel. No, it's not a hovel. It's a shack. It's a shack. Oh, I'm sorry. I. I... I, I didn't see you, ma'am. He's looking at you, Bright. Hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm, I'm down here. It's easy to miss me. Just don't trip. Who, who are you? Yeah, so my name's Bright, but you can call me lots of different things. Um, I'm a, I'm a friend of Norlai, but I'm not her sister. Oh, all right. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you, friend of Norlai. Uh... Replacement brother of Norlai, and not a replacement. Celine. Yeah, you can have more than one brother. I mean, most most of the time, most people have more than one brother. <laughs> Except for me, I only have sisters, because that's how it goes with gnomes. <laughs> oh. oh, I a gnome. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Uh. Well, what did you think? Didn't the floof scare it away? I uh, I'm. I have a massive headache. I'm sorry. Uh, That's okay. Yeah, just um, take it easy. Maybe Mordecai can give you something for your headache. Or Celine. He, uh... He, yeah, who's who's Celine? That one. And Mordecai kind of points over to Celine too. She's not Norlay's sister, she, either. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I... All right. Well, it's nice to meet you all. Where, uh... Wow, uh... I... It's pretty touch and go there for a bit. I feel terrible. Honestly, you kind of look You're not the only you. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel so good <clears throat> either. He goes to the window and looks outside. Dragon Graveyard? This definitely isn't a city. What? How? What's the last thing you remember? I... Mm, holds his head. There was a... I'm seeing it's like shadows of people. Uh, uh, a woman. Um, she wanted to help. I. I was running and she just had these eyes that. I I. I or was that a dream too? Like I don't, it can't be. I got ah, like he just tries to stretch his shoulder, and uh, he goes to like get some hair out of his out of his face, and he stops, and he like baps at his broken horn. What? Norlai, the the way he's acting and talking. This is, this is like, as you, this is like old Loki, like as you knew him. Uh. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly when that happened, but, uh, at some point you broke off your horn. It's really too bad. Yeah, I, well... Uh, thank you. I, I feel, well, I feel bad. 
I also feel good. Like there's some sort of a haze or a, it's like I was walking through webs or something, just feeling lost and. There, there was a literally and figuratively, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, that actually oh, happened. That's Last that's time. not a dream. Do you feel like a haze has been lifted? Something, just things seem more clear, and he he says that, and for a moment, like he stops, he looks, he's like. He looks to you, Norali, first, but he also looks over to to you, Mordecai. He's like, not, not like that. I. <clears throat> he, he then he looks a little ashamed, uh, implying the interesting perception and clarity that Luciferace gives tieflings. Uh, That's good. Because you were on Luciferace before. Well, I mean, I I stopped because Norlai asked me to. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that's incongruent, Mordecai. Like, this must be a past memory or something. Yeah. I'm going to use a, a minor illusion to create... An image of an elephant right in the center of the room. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to address it as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just going to keep it there as okay. long as you're talking about the Lisa phrase. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> Bright is such a brat. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, please. <laughs> Well, it's good that you have clarity. That's that's a start. <clears throat> so you don't know what you're doing out here. I think I remember traveling. Like, there's images that are popping up in front of me, but... Do you remember the volcano? There was... uh, Maybe? Uh, But it wasn't heat. There was like a... A coldness. Like a crawling coldness. Oh, what a nightmare. Yeah, you were... Pretty much crawling in worms the last time we saw you. Bloating to the point where we tried to teleport you out, and while you might have been willing, we couldn't take you. Worms. No, I... I. There was also slugs. I can remember... And you also slugged my boyfriend. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I I hope he didn't deserve to be hit. But not in that way. Um, you you like put a slug on my boyfriend. I, it must have been a prank. I mean, I I put bugs on you all the time. Um. Yeah, let's say it was a prank. I want to insight check him. Yeah. Please do. That's 18. He's... He seems to be legitimately in pain. Uh, Mm. Not just physically, but when he's remembering... I mean, he could be a really good actor, but the way that he's presenting himself, the the pauses, like it seems to fit that he he's legitimately trying to remember. Uh, but it's just it's not happening all at once, if at all. See, he seems to have flashes of memory. He's struggling through it. 
Though with commentary like that, oh, well, I, I used to put bug, you know bugs in you all the time. You know, big brother, little sister, sort of hijinks. Hmm. I mean that that was a quick response, and Norlai seemed to resonate with it as well. So, at least past stuff is referenceable uh, more immediately. But talking about volcanoes and like it seems to be a past. hazy dream or a nightmare, or he's questioning if it happened, even though it it might have been it felt real but it wasn't or something like it, he's in a weird murky state for that huh um, okay do you, do you remember why you left mask of thorns I I thought I could I thought I could do better or be better. I nor lie that you know this that the world's a really crappy place and I wanted to try and do something that would make a difference that would I, I wanted to be a hero. I wanted to, to I, I wanted to make money. I wanted to right the wrongs. I I was tired of it, Norlai. I you know everything and that's that we've what been got through. you caught up in Grim Hilder. Grim Hilder. Yeah. yeah. Surely you remember Grim Hilder. You were traveling with her. First time you and I met was on the road out of Mask of Flowers. Yeah, that name, Grimhilder. I... Fiery hair. Just... I, I can see her face and... Yeah, huge... Ego. Uh, yeah. Grimhilda, she's the woman. Yeah, I, I, I remember. I, I, I was out on the road and, I'm um, well. Norlai, I'm sorry to. I just, I was in a bit of a state and I needed to try and. Not have to worry, even though that's exactly why I left. She found me, and she was... Yeah, she was able to give me help and would help me become powerful and to... Ah, sorry, I... He drinks some more water. I... I don't know why... I don't know why I feel, like, hungover, almost. Man, just take it easy. Yeah. Uh, he gets up, he, he stands up, and he stretches. And as he does, uh, like, like Norlai, like, he kind of, like, whoop, you know, sets you off to the side. Uh, he, yeah, he does so. And then he, he stops and he looks. Norlai, he's like, have you... Are you taller? Yes. And... He looks you up and down, and... Have you just been doing a lot of... Like, you look not just taller. You you look different somehow. Nobody ever asks me that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you you barely ever change in height, right? Well, I have you stand up on your tiptoes and it's only, it only lifts you about an inch. I this is the case why Invigan should be your permanent spell. Um, uh, I got a new... Uh, a slightly new outfit. Um, I am taller... I'm also, like, three years older since you left. 
Oh, okay. I mean, I guess that would explain all the new friends, the the boyfriend. Uh, wow, I've really been out of it. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry, Norlai. I. I promise. I am. I'm clean. I'm clean from here on out. No more Luciferace. I. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I. I just. I wanted to be strong, and you can see like his eyes are wobbling with tears. I, I wanted to be strong. I, I wanted to help. I wanted to make something I'm better. Hug. He he gives a little squeak as you, you give him a, an unexpe unexpected hug. That's okay, Loki. You're back now. And really, that's all that matters. Like, you have his arms, you know, like, sort of mm -hmm. pinned. I mean, not that you're yeah. terribly strong, but, like, he doesn't expect, like, dang it. He pivots his elbows to come around and give you, like, a short little T-Rex arm hug and pats you from the squeeze that you put him in. Uh, Norlai, I'm... Yes, I'm... You're gonna have to... You're gonna have to tell me things one at a time and uh, over time, because this is so much right now, but... Norlai, I'm sorry. I I will. I I don't want to leave you again. Uh, it seems like there's a lot that's happened, and you must have come into some money. You're you have a really nice dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Actually. Um. Uh. So with my friends, we've been inventing, and we we got a quite a bit of money, and uh, we're actually building a orphanage in. Uh, old point. You... Really? Yeah. Um, that's also where my boyfriend is in Old Port, so... I kind of moved to Old Port. Is it... He he gets a little bit of a... like He has he has some tears in his eyes, but this is more of a... Uh, an optimistic twinkle that it shifts to. It's kind of like what we've, what we've talked about, that... Tell me, Norlai, it, it has it has Heidi tunnels, doesn't it? Like what we oh, talked yes, about. Oh yes, definitely, definitely Heidi tunnels. He he gets. <laughs> Actually, a, it's suggested the Heidi tunnels. I didn't even get a chance to. He gets yeah. a, a grin on Heidi his face. Heidi tunnels are lots of fun. I, I am simultaneously confused, sad, hurting, and I'm so happy to see you, Norlai. I, I want to crawl through the Heidi tunnels. I I, I, I want to be by your side. I want to go on adventures with you. I want you to tell me everything that's happened. I want to meet your boyfriend. Uh, I want to scare him before eventually giving my approval. I want to I want to do all this. I might have beat you to that already. Uh, don't worry, you can take another scare. <laughs> I mean, that's valid. And and. and Mordecai, I. Well, uh, thank you. I mean, I, I thought it would come to me as a, uh, as an older brother, but, uh, as a dad, I guess you already, you already did that. If. God, do I look that old? Yeah, you kind of do. Yeah, you, you kind of do. It's the gray. It's the gray streak. Oh God. Loki's looking at you, Mordecai. Kind of confused, but yeah, it's stress. <laughs> it's the stress. I'm only thirty. You don't look at that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Norla, you're welcome to hit Loki if you want, but just reflexively, Loki kind of goes, "Oof." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is it a big oof? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he tried to. Like, it came out. It wasn't a big oof, but it, it certainly was, was vocal. I just uh, imagine Celine's in the corner chuckling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's a stressful world. Mordecai, I, I and I, I want to get to know you. Uh, Norlai and I have seen our fair share of it, so maybe we can share in the stress together. 
I'm just... Yeah. I feel... I feel free. I feel... Beat up and sore and tired, but at the same time, like, I'm... Just like I'm flying. I'm... I'm soaring. So... That begs the question, what about your patron? I created a different elephant. My... This one is, is dressed differently. <laughs> My patron. Yes. The one that gave you your powers. Or coerced you into your powers. Grim Hilder? No. She... She had her own patron. No, I'm talking about the one with black hair. Black tendrils. Yeah. Worms and slugs and things. All that stuff. His face... Kind of like he's thinking, but his face goes blank for a moment. And are you Jade? Well, you're on the right track. Jade was also a servant of that patron. I think she took it a little more seriously than you did. Oh. I... Uh, he winces. I, nothing is physically making him wince, but... No, I... was yes the that was the the promise the promise that I I had a place that I that I had a function that I was someone Um, it preyed on your need for adventure. I... Or your need to do right by the world. Either way. Uh, Mordecai, I want you to make an insight at advantage. Oh. Advantage? Yes. 17. Offering that, I mean, those are those are certainly legitimate offerings. You're, you especially are picking up. There's something maybe more fragile within him, like you're offering him these as oh your need for adventure, and he's giving like a, yeah, a need for adventure, but there's, there's something like meek or timid, inside him or something shameful, like a seed of regret. So, I mean, no offense, I'm giving you advantage on this for a reason, but uh, you, uh, I regret when I th it. there's a, there is definitely a resonance that you share with Loki. Uh, so, he, he's agreeing to what you're saying, but probably more so because that's almost like a, a cover for him uh, than what's actually addressing the core. He doesn't have to say anything outright. I can see. Yeah, you're you're on to him. <laughs> I'm on to him. <laughs> but I'm not gonna out him. Oh. Loki will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all on to him. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not even using detect thoughts. I don't know. <laughs> I, sure, just because you literally know everything that happened to him over the past three years. That detail. <laughs> um, but, all right, so, yeah, he, yes. It, I guess it was a false promise. I got caught up in something that was bigger than me, and... I, Way bigger I than you. I just hope that it... I, I hope I wasn't a jerk. I hope I didn't do anything... Well, terrible. To put it simply, the creature that granted you power is destroying the planet. Nora, like, it's kind of a bad deal. Your brother's tail kind of like finds yours and intertwines with it, sort of like a, like, I need support or like I I need to know that you're here with me kind of a thing is these as what is being said is being said to him. Uh, so there, there's like a little tail entwining going on behind you too. Uh, I mean, Mordecai, you also being a tail haver, uh, you, you pick up on the context that what you're saying is rather weighty to him. Mm. Um, but, uh, I just think he should be aware. I, I mean, I, I didn't, I don't want harm to happen. I, that's, that's not what I, that's not what I agreed to, agreed to, agreed to, agreed to. Oh, now we're getting to something. What did you agree to? What? I, did I agree to? It could have been even something as, you know, subtle as maybe a dream that I... you had. <sighs> These kinds of things tend to hit you when you're most vulnerable. Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry, it's... My my brain feels like a sore muscle right now. I, that's the only way I can describe it. Like, well, have you have you ever to... just felt like you had a strength of three and just? Yeah. That's currently happening. <laughs> God, numerical values. <laughs> um. I mean, obviously he doesn't say that, but yeah, he's just like he he compares his brain to like a muscle that's just it's feeling like overworked strength and strength of a three more... year old. Yeah, there we that's go. That's how I feel. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> well, the relentless <clears throat> is going to be here today, possibly. What's and... the repentless? It's a big flying ship that is actually a, a dragonborn ghost thingy that's actually now connected to a uh, professor. It's a whole big thing. Long story. That's a whole... Yeah. <laughs> he looks kind of baffled and slack-jawed from Norlai, looks down to you, Bright, and simply says, thank you. I, I need simple things right now. <laughs> it is... <laughs> kind of a mess. Uh, it's built out of a Shadowhar ship mixed with who even knows magic that's all I can say is it friendly no ish yeah I wouldn't call it friendly but it is on our side at least some of the time so that's good Thank you, Bright. I mean, actually, Selter's kind of friendly to me, but she doesn't like a lot of people. Who's Selter? The bio ship. I thought that was the Repentless. She's the pilot the, of the bio ship. It's the same. It's it's all one entity now. Oh, all right. 
he kind of he sits back down he grabs another cookie and he eats it and kind of gets disappointed but then he continues eating it because he's very like an appetite is now awakening in front of you all as he is just he's munching um, I knew the cookies weren't very good. Hey, at least they're ta- at least they're edible. They're not burnt. But yeah. I'd be surprised if Selene magic up for cookies. The world is a crazy hot <clears throat> mess. Uh winter is going to be colder this year, I think, than most people anticipated all around the world, or at least in the Mesotopia region. And so we're aiming to stop it. Because it's caused by the, I guess you can call it a calamity. He, as he's like eating, as he's eating another like cookie here, he's, he's, he's looking down, he's listening, but he's just sort of like looking down and eating. When you say that, he looks up at you, Mordecai, and he just has those big bright eyes again. And the cookie sort of pulls away from his mouth. We? Oui? You, you mean? I mean, uh, the four of us. If you were on board. Looks over to you, Norlai. I mean, I, I don't mind if you come. I'd like you to come. Can Yeah, but no pressure, though. No, 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 no pressure. I, it, it sounds like you all have to catch me up. That will happen, but if I did something bad, if I have to make up for destroying the... No. That's not what I agreed to do. I agreed to save the world. Uh, Well, Well, the distinction between save and destroy... Yeah, it's really a matter of perspective. Of course. I... If you'll have me, I want to come along with you. I want to help. I want to... I'm sure I've done something bad. I, I've hurt someone. If nothing else, Norlai, I've probably upset you a lot and I need to make up for... Please, let me come along. Let me help. Let me... I... Take it easy, Mr. Eager Pants. <sighs> You're not in a state where we can actually, like, judge what it is that you can do if your patron's gone. I mean, Loki doesn't need a patron. He's, you know, he's really cool and knows things. I understand that. And, and he knows But would that be him staying on the repentless? No, um, no, like, he, he can, like, you know, like, actually do things, like, you know, we, we would steal stuff, um, or, you know, gamble, or do other things in towns, um, so, you know, he, he More has like, skills. you know what I mean. He can fight. Doesn't like to get in fights, but he can fight. We're probably going to have to put you through the ropes here, Loki, if you want to actually join us. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm rope rope away. Uh, Not now. No, because please. Because you look like shit. I... Y- thank you, I think. Yes, I feel like it. <laughs> I... Just finding out the obvious. <laughs> like almost in mirror view, Mordecai's like, "Do I really look that bad?" <laughs> Anyways, I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything for a while because I'm still tired. 
My arms hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, you wore yourself out. Yeah. I I think I just need some fresh. You know, fresh air does wonderful things. You let the breeze just flow over you. Uh, you 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 just you think about things. Um, if you're fine, I'm not gonna run away. I'm not gonna do anything weird, except just go outside and and I, I just want to be outside. Norlai, why don't you go with him? Yeah. There, Norlai. Yeah, yeah. You can take a nap under a tree or something if you need to. Yeah. I think you guys have some catching up to do. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess we we could have been in the shack, but we're outside anyway. So, uh, Norlai and Loki will uh, will be outside or at least remain outside uh the, the rest of you uh can be in the shack or if you want to be outside too you can uh but we'll have the those two tieflings uh exit and we have Celine, mordecai and bright together oh that's well, interesting yeah he doesn't do you remember yeah hazy so do you think he's really like free of shoulder i don't I think don't he's know. faking i think it's whatever's happened is for real but i don't know if it's permanent or not i doubt it's permanent actually yeah do given you have any jade idea how it could have happened pants. well given that jade had those kinds of lucid mo lucid moments well it was different for her though because she had to like, put on a different identity, and then she'd be that person. But then... But there I mean, were moments where she would have clarity. Like, she was any other not-crazy woman. Yeah, but it wasn't like this at all, right? I mean, she would never, like, wake up and be like, Oh, it was like a dream, and now I have a headache. She, that never happened. No, she still quite remembered that she was under contract. Yeah. So to I don't think it's the same. To destroy vampires, to destroy everything. Okay, so so let's let's rewind and, and replay the steps. Okay. Um, so Loki was with Grimhilder, and he was definitely the second fiddle in that partnership. Yeah. And then. Then we killed Grimhilder. I don't know how she died, because that was a non-lethal spell, but she died, and... No, I think she voluntarily gave herself away to Mercury. Oh, that's possible, too. Anyway, uh, and then Loki, he, like, turned into a slug thing. It was all weird. We dug a hole yeah. and saved him in the hole. Mm -hmm. And then he, he kind of slugged off for a while, and then we saw him again, but he was turned into a spider. And um, the spiders were fey things, and so they made him kind of fey-ish. But then Marley wished him back to human again, and now it's a whole weird thing. So one of those things must have broken it. The question is whether Grimhilder broke it, taking him to Mercury, or whether the fey broke it. Or the wish. I don't think it was the wish, because she only wished... I mean, didn't she just wish for him to be... I don't know. I didn't hear her saying... I, yeah, I, I, I don't think yeah. you technically heard what her wish was. Yeah, we, but she, she can't have had that much... I don't know. I mean, wishes are all weird. She said, all she said is that she wished for him to be normal again. Well, maybe. I don't even know if a wish could even break a patron bond. I don't know. I, I did... Before meeting all of you, I had never heard of such things. Like, well, I'm sure you hadn't you heard the stories. Well, yes, I, I, I mean, being granted powers and things like that was always, I don't know, something. I mean, there were stories of people having powers, and you know that kind of thing, and when 
when I discovered that I could create magic through music, that was uh, that was not something that I necessarily learned from like a bard's college. Yeah. I didn't actually go to bard's college. Did you get a mail order bard degree? Well, I started performing and realized that I could make arcane things happen. I and that's how I learned how to do it. Yeah. I mean, I had a mentor, but not like he went to a sophisticated bar college either. Yeah. Nobody can afford bar tuition and bar student loan. Yeah. I mean, there was always the... The, the music degree is just not that practical. <laughs> not particularly, no. I don't think. But, um... But, yeah. It, it, I don't know. It's just something that I picked up. And... I never really thought much of it. Yeah. Yeah. But to to put a finer point on it, the stories that I have heard throughout my life, they all seem distant. Yeah. They all seem like they're all fantasy. None of it's real. Yeah, well, that's how stories are. They turn into legends, and legends turned into myths. And eventually you forget. Mm. Yeah, because the whole world, the all everyone that we know, no one believes that dragons exist, and yet we've seen them. Living ones. Yeah. They're not just Things well, they're not living story. anymore. Well, who knows? But they're not things that are just in storybooks for kids. They're real. Magic isn't something that's just in storybooks for kids. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, but we always knew that. I mean, there's really? a whole life. Well, there used to be a library. I don't know if it's still there. But, I mean, that's... That's how I learned. Everybody where I learned knew it was real. And most of the spells I do, I, I either I learned them or at least I learned about them when I was there. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of the fun ones they wouldn't teach, you know, dark mm. arts and all that, blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, no, but, no. <laughs> but you'd, le you'd learn about them. Right, right. I don't know. It's just there's a new perspective on what is real and what isn't lately. Shutter Earth is real. I didn't even know the thing existed before Jade came along. Yeah, well, I don't think very many people knew about Shutter Earth. It's actually really lucky that we had Jade to kind of give us the clue. But also, Cypher knows about it. How yeah. does he know? Well, but he studies all that lore and everything. I mean, probably takes children books and takes them at face value and says, yes, this is real. That's... That's very possible. <laughs> it's a very cipher thing to do. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah. I mean, now that, now that, I mean, so here's the thing. I kind of developed the way to cast almost any spell I want to. Mm. I've got a, a new, a new way where I can just wish wish up for a new spell and, and be able to cast it. And it doesn't always work, it's only once in a while. But hmm. I know there's magic, really powerful magic about 
learning legends and history about things. And now that we know what we're looking for, I could just wish up the knowledge, some of that ancient lore. I mean, that's also something that I think the land has made available to me and Celine as well. Is if if we wanted to, if I had prepared that today, I could learn the stories behind anything. Yeah. It's just the cost in materials is kind of pricey. Yeah. I don't have to pay the materials cost, so that's convenient. Uh, that is very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of being an arcanist, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for Norlai that she's got her brother back. But I've got... I don't know. Worried it's temporary. Well, either it's temporary, but I'm also not sure how much we can trust him. He's uh he's an unknown quantity. He is, but I think I think he's genuinely the kid who left. Yeah. The kid yeah. who left Mask of Horns right now. He does seem that way. But think of all the trouble he used to get into. I'm, I'm not sure. Even if he's the innocent kid, I'm still not sure we can trust him. Well, dealing with... And that's with... assuming Shonarif doesn't get him back somehow. Well... Thieves are going to thief. You just have to anticipate it and be ready for it. But I don't think... <clears throat> I don't want... Shonerth to come knocking on his door again. Well, it and if it's... Up to him. It might not be up to him. I worry. I worry how that's going to affect Norlai. Yeah. If I may address the illusion in the room as well, then, says Celine, we... We need Norlai. She's... She's our friend. She's our comrade through this. But we need her as well. We can't lose her. Yeah. Well, we also can't manipulate her, Celine. I... I don't want her manipulated. I'm simply stating that... We need her. And But if I, she chooses to leave, we have to come up with something else. I'm not going to force her to do anything. I think if we let Loki come along with us... That is a better guarantee that we won't lose Norlai. She won't run away from conflict. And he wants to adventure with us. He, he wants to, you know, go see the world. And, and we don't have to paint it as, you know, a bright horizon. I don't think any of us have seen a bright horizon in a good long while. But he wants what we can offer. She wants him. We need her. Not want her. We need her. Yeah. But what if he gets killed? Again. It's not going to happen. Celine looks over to Mordecai, and, and obviously, recent events, either this is super ironic or she's missing the point. Uh, looks over at Mordecai. That, that won't happen. I have been studying in my off time I've been really praying and trying to seek some guidance into what it is that would allow for you know the prevention of that kind of thing but 
for those who need it, but... I think that special case is Selene. If nothing else, Norlai can watch after, after him, you know? She can help protect him, be by his side. I know this sounds rough. I'm addressing I'm addressing the illusion in the room, but someone has to say it. We need to make sure that yes, the the feelings are real. It's great that the siblings are back together. But there's a bigger problem. And we're gonna need at least one of them in order to solve it. So look yeah. I don't think we're even contending that he can't come with us, but I think that he should, and we need to be aware that if we placate him, Norali will be a lot less flighty. She'll want to be anchored here. She'll she'll want to move with us. She'll want to see this through to the end. That also seems super manipulative. I think we can do it without casting a spell. Spells aside, Celine. Yeah, but if we do have to cast a spell. Oh, never, sorry, never mind. If, if we do, that's a bridge to cross when you get to it. Right now, we're not talking about we're not talking about casting spells. I am not going to force or beg either of them. They will decide on their own. And if it comes to a point where she just wants to go home, I am not going to stop her. We'll figure it out otherwise. Another bridge to cross if we get there. I absolutely agree with you, Mordecai. Okay. I'm not wavering on that. I understand. I really hope the Shinrith doesn't come knocking again. I've got... Fingers crossed, you know. Mm -hmm. Land willing. <laughs> if it does... This might even be, this could be something we could even tell Nora if she doesn't know it herself, but she might be the one to be able to take care of him, not in an ending sense, but if something were to come up to maybe, I don't know, whatever these surges are, she could use them to suppress the, if you think he's possessed, might, might be able to drive it off or, you know, uh... It's a responsibility to give her. I don't know if she's... I don't know if we've ever really well, given her a, a responsibility. Well, I think that's because for as long as we've known her, we've treated her like a kid. She is a kid. She's a baby. <laughs> well... but. But she's an adult now. I mean, not a baby. And okay, not baby, but you know, <laughs> comparatively speaking. She's the youngest of us, so. And she's good for looking after pets. Well, not like he's a pet, but I mean, she has this hole in her heart that needs to be filled, and this might have done it. Yeah, well, I'm not saying not to give him a chance. I'm just worried no, that, I... that he'll get killed. I want to at the... least test him. See what he's capable of. See what, see if there's... See if he's maybe on the same level as we are. Well, we'll find out. And if not, then... 
you know, relegate him to safe duty or whatever. Make sure he's not in the thick of it. But, should Shunruth come back, that's something we'll have to also cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. And what if we come face to face with Shunruth and, like, being that close to his proximity is what, what flips him again? Well, we can play what if all day. Yeah. Yeah, we have been, actually. It's fun. It's your turn. <laughs> I think I've said plenty of what ifs. I've already got my husband riled up enough. <laughs> well, that's normal, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, what ifs aside, we could what if until we're blue in the face. <clears throat> <laughs> Figuratively speaking. <laughs> Celine, yeah, Celine clears your throat in your direction. <laughs> <laughs> Present company, not, ex not uh, you know. Um, I'm surprised tieflings have that expression. <laughs> some are closer to human complexion. Some are closer to Norlai and Mai's complexion. They're a variety of colors. We just... Seem to have adopted human expressions. If I may say so, Mordecai, I and I don't believe I've ever said this directly to you, I enjoy your pupils. <laughs> I think they're lovely. Well. Okay. Not too big, not too small. I like your pupils. It's appreciated. You're distracting me. I'm feeling but. like the fifth wheel. <laughs> and there's only three of you here. That's ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, figuring out what he can do. That's uh that's a start. And if he can be helpful, then, you know, if that's what he wants, then that's what he wants. And we'll cross all of the bridges when we come to them, or anticipate them and plan for them. I think we should be ready for anything. Because this could be a giant trap. Meant yeah. to make us vulnerable. Especially Norlai. Yeah. Because she's the one with the wild magic. She's the one with the innate blessing of Zubiwa. Yeah. I mean, Selene and I pale in comparison, I think. Well, we're all, we all have different abilities. We do. Selene looks at you, Bright. If you don't mind my asking, this is, well, I'm going to address the, the pink, the pink uh, illusionist in the room here. Um... Do you... Norlai is probably the easiest to understand. She, she's young. Uh, she has a, a love life. Her brother's back. Uh, she has the whole world in front of her. And presumably, and it's my hope that she wants to continue to work with us to preserve that world. And, you know, you're talking, you're talking about being the, the fifth wagon wheel. And while it's always smart to have a backup, I mean... Mordecai and I, I mean, we found each other. And if you don't 
mind a little bit of prying, Bright? What? Beyond the obvious, we're saving the world. I get it. That's the main thing. But what's in it for you? Do you have something personal at stake in this? I, I don't know if you've ever really gotten to talk about that. Well, I... I mean, I live in the world, so saving it is kind of personal. <sighs> but, but... Not really. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't count. So... Come on, I mean, be selfish. Say something selfish, Bright. Or something ambitious. Share something. I'm really just... I'm really just focused on trying to make sure that I'm not the very last gnome. And... The only way to do that is... To find a way to reverse... Reverse what Shard is, is doing. And, I mean, we do need to go to Uct at some point and... And deal with the flesh monster. That was kind of a bummer when we saw it, but I mean, it's almost kind of too late for that. So what I'm hoping is when we can beat Shonaruth, oh goodness sakes. <sighs> it's my familiar. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see Be more careful. <laughs> Peggy Sue. She knocked Come something on. off the shelf with her wings as she was flying by. <laughs> um, Chonky bird gonna chonk. Yeah. Every, every time this happens. It only, it only happens during the sessions. No other time. <laughs> oh. um, she, uh, yeah, I mean... Hopefully when we can Same. defeat Shonaruth, we can reverse the flesh trees, and and I'm hoping that, that the, maybe we can save the gnomes who have been trapped in there. I was never able to find any of my family. They all just dropped off the radar. So, I mean, I, I don't have anything personal because I don't have anything personal. Does that make sense? It does. Save the gnomes, save the world. Yeah. But uh, Celine kind of hops down and uh, I mean, she has to kind of squat to be eye level, so it's not necessarily like a patronizing gesture. I uh, am big in myself. But, oh, I all right. The, now. Sure. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. That, <laughs> you wake up and stretch and you just keep stretching and oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, yeah, that, that's true. So we <laughs> have we have nearly a medium creature. <laughs> yeah, we have like a, almost a permanent medium uh, bright. Uh, but, wow, but, so strange. I won't do it permanently. Well, only, only in special cases like this. Temporarily, permanently. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So uh, I guess she starts, and it's like, oh, I'm sorry, force of habit, and you know, your eye level. <laughs> I could also demigulate you if you'd rather. It's fun. You can see, like, the bottoms of the tables where everybody sticks their gum. I'm open to new experiences, Bright. Uh, that's left out there. And then she switches, uh, she, she switches the topic to, uh, um, what you want to do, I understand, and, and that's important, but, all right, maybe not, maybe not magically, but if you had your wish come true is what do you want to do bright do you want to i mean she looks back over to mordecai and even like at herself like do you want kids do you want a family do you want to get a do you want to be the the headmistress of uh of the the library do you want money and power do you want uh do, do you want to run a facility of some kind what I don't, I don't want money and power. I don't care about that. Well, okay, I don't care about money. <laughs> but but the, the power I care about is only of the magical type, not the political type. No, I, you know, I've always assumed that I wouldn't be able to ever since, you know, ever since I left home. It's always, I've always just been, been away from 
trying to get away from, you know, the, the problems that were following me. And that's happened a little. Mm. Um, we're, we're getting much better at keeping those things under control. So that's good. But no, I'm, I'm not looking for, for, for money or, or political power or... I, I really just... Want things to really, be normal. Yeah, I really just want my family to forgive me, really. And they have to be alive before they can do that. So... I, I don't want to be a, an expatriate forever. But the thing is, have you ever heard the old saying, you can't go home again? And that's especially true after living for 20,000 years in hell. I, if I went back home, it would seem too too small. So I'll probably end up... We've, we've done the whole niche thing. We've decided that that's not a good choice for me. Not that I couldn't do it. I just probably won't. So, yeah, undead seems like a bad idea. So, probably... Let's tie you up with Weejass. I mean, if, if all goes according to, to plan and we save the world and I'm welcome yeah. back at home, but I probably won't stay there. I'd probably end up... I mean, the Orphanarium's great, and it's a great base, but that's really something I see as more for Norelai. I think that's mm. more her... Her... Her need to take care of things. Yeah. For me, probably... Probably the... The head of the of the magic academy or or the library would would be the right choice for me. I the think end. you'd do well as a teacher. Yeah, and and imagine I could do animate objects on the erasers. So when I would throw them at the students, then they would run around. It would be great. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that would be fun. It teaching. would be. <laughs> it would be a lot of fun. Teaching all of the. Bright wizards of the future. Yeah, how to, and I make them call themselves that in honor of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's fixing what's going on in Oct is a priority for sure. And and Celine to to answer maybe to give you the the other half of the question. If the other gnomes aren't still alive, then what I'm going to do is find however many there are and see if see if we can establish a little enclave somewhere on an island or some place where we can just start over. Nothing We've says always... you have to be the last and there's always the optimistic look that there are refugees out there. Well, I think there's probably a few in Aslandia, and we'll, and I might as end far up. As Octans. Yeah. So the thing about about gnomes is, everybody knows there's rock gnomes and forest gnomes, but we're really the same people. It's really more of a cultural difference. Hmm. So, if it's the rock gnomes that have survived, and there aren't any forest gnomes, or I'm the last one then it might might be that what I end up doing is dedicating myself to preserving the forest gnome culture. Maybe the rock gnomes will adopt parts of it. And I don't think any... I don't want anyone to forget yeah. that the forest gnomes are a thing. That they're real. That they're a culture. That they're a people. <clears throat> Might just be a person at this point. I'm not sure. Well. So anyway, hoping it doesn't have to stay that way. This is why I'm always concerned about dying so much. Also because I don't want to, but because I might be the last me. Celine, uh, like Celine has been uh, listening as you've been as you've been talking. Uh, she looks rather wistfully uh, back at at Mordecai looks over to you bright uh, and uh, with a grand uh, somatic component casts and boobulate on you as she gives you a great big hug and holds you close and <laughs> um, and she tells you 
Uh, she tells you that's you use so many words to simply say that what you'd love the most is to have a home to go back to. And I get that as someone who hasn't had a home to go back to since I was alive and a good portion of that and someone who, well, probably outside of Mordecai's heart has no home to return to now. Well, it's like they say, heart is where the home is. I, I, maybe that's a cultural difference. But yes, uh, I, that's what I wanted to hear. Not, I mean, it's kind of tragic, and it makes me sad as well, because you actually have the chance at getting that wish to come true, Bright. But I think just for once, I, I wanted to hear something that was you. Something that was not just a witty deflection uh, or, you know, just what was in your heart. And so if there's a home in your heart or however your forest gnome phrase went, then... I want to know what we're fighting for as inspiration, because even if it's not for me, it's for the people I care about. And yes, Mordecai, I know I said what I said about Norali, and it, it's true. I don't want to manipulate her. I do care about her, and I want her to have that motivation as well. And, well, I think I said what I said. I think maybe I need some fresh air as well. Uh, by the way, says the I woman who doesn't need to breathe. I think that all of this is, but... is for preserving where it is that the people that we care about exist. Yeah. We all have the same goal there. You get no argument from me. Uh... In a, a bit of a meanwhile, as this conversation, which can stretch for however long, uh, before Celine would exit, maybe finds you outside or not, uh, we go outside to the tree where uh, Loki and Norali are hanging out. Um, now, Norali, this is going to be more of, you know, your prompts and your discussion, or at least you're providing the inspiration. If Norlai just sleeps and takes a nap, that's fine. That's uh, It's uh, like quick travel. You close your eyes and you wake up several hours later and, uh, and there you go. But, as far as you're aware, besides the weird sneezing and your ears burning for some reason, uh, again, maybe just some seasonal allergies going on. Um, I usually have that in the spring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are out in the valley with your brother. I don't know about magic power that makes you sneeze, but I don't know any magic powder that can stop you from sneezing. No one has invented Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> so... Hmm. You, you, really, you really don't remember all that much. I <clears throat> nor lie I I not, not not really I actually do have trouble remembering some things and while I I'd love to answer questions at the same time there's just I feel scared to like I get I know I said I, I feel free, and I, I do, but it's like a, a feeling like you're teetering on the edge of something. And when I try to remember, it's it's not like the free fall or the flying. It's that moment of... It's that moment in between having a firm ground and then nothing underneath you. It's kind of scary. 
Um, well, there, 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 a lot of things happened, and, well, I, I wasn't there for most of it, so I don't know exactly, um, but at some point, um, you were, you were working for, um, a creature named Shonu. Do you remember that? It feels like a familiar name, but I... I, I can't... Nothing... There's not like a face or a shape that comes to mind with it. Like, it's someone um, I've heard about in passing. Yeah. I'm not sure if it had a shape either. Or a face. I only ever saw, like, the black tentacles. Um. Okay, um. Um. Do, do you remember meeting Mordecai before? Or the others? I don't remember meeting them, but after getting to talk to them, they seem like, they feel like, maybe like storybook characters that have come to life. Like, I've read about them. They went out on some heroic quest like the books that we used to read. And so you get to know them that way. Not really in person. Like, you know about them, but you don't know them. Yeah. That's the best way I can describe it, is they feel like they're storybook characters to me. Yeah. Well, you, uh, you, you met them on the road, and then uh, sold Mordecai some loose phrase. Um, and then, then they ran into me. And that's, that's why I started traveling with them, because uh, I asked them and, about you, and they, they were like, Oh, yeah, we, we ran into you. So I, I traveled with them to try to find you. And a lot of things happened. Norlai, thank you for not giving up on me. Even you though a not. lot of weird stuff happened, and I, I realize it probably seemed like if you felt like I gave up on you, I'm I'm so sorry, Norlai. I didn't. Everything I did... I'm... We got each other. I'm, I'm the big brother. I'm... I wanted things to be better, and I thought I was making the right decisions. And it seems like I just really screwed things up. I... How can I make it right, Norlai? Uh, uh. Um... Uh, we have to go still, like, save the world. And... And you, you could still help with that. I... I will, I'll do everything I can. I I need to... I mean, sure, there's the world, but... Norlai, like, you are my world, all right? I can set the world right with a bunch of strangers in a lot of different ways. I... How can I be right with you? You're, you're already right with me. I'm, I'm not upset at you. Norlai, you say that. I'm, I'm just happy you're back. I want you to tell me about him. As he, like, sat and pondered, and then he, he shifted the topic. Tell me about your boyfriend. 
Oh, uh, his name is Karen. He's a silversmith. Oh. Yeah, um, I met him at uh, a gala. Um, so I, I told you about the orphanarium. I, I was trying to raise money for that, so I went to a gala. You went to a um, gala? Uh-huh. Big ballroom dress That's and fun. everything? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, um... I can just imagine it. Oh, like he's he's raucously laughing, not in a negative way, but you know, yeah. here's his awkward little sister going to a big fancy schmancy ball. Yeah, schmoozing. Uh, and I saw him. And he was really cute. And then I sneezed and turned like everyone in the room the same shade of blue that he was. was oh. Fun. Oh, you made him blue in the face? No, he was already blue. I made everyone else blue. Oh. Uh, continue. <laughs> um, yeah, so... After that, we, we got to know each other, and we started dating. And it's yeah. really sweet. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, um, so my, fr my friend Mordecai and his wife, Celine, uh, well, before they were married, uh, they, uh, uh, they, they needed rings, so he made their, their wedding rings. Oh, He's oh, very good at those, those two are married. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, why? Uh, I mean, it didn't seem like there was a huge difference between them, but I mean, like, it's kind of felt like Selene might be robbing the grave a little bit, you know? Yeah. Wrong way, someone. I have no idea. <laughs> how, how old is Hiran? Uh, oh, Kieran's only a year older than me. Okay. Oh. Really awkward, Norla. How old are you now? I'm 19. Okay. It just seemed like I lost... I lost time. Yeah, I, like... You, you know that feeling? Years? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar. Uh, in fact, uh, like... Uh, uh, I won't get into too much detail, but we were in another place, and then when we came back, we found out that, like, a whole year had passed, or was it two years? Like, a whole two years had passed, and we didn't, we didn't even feel it, because it wasn't two years for us. Oh, time is just all the more reason. Very, I, really I, I, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do something. I, I have to do something with my life. I, I tried, I failed. I'm I'm gonna do something. Side by side, we're we're gonna do this, Norlai. For all the capers that we've we've done, all the the heists and everything that we've, well, I mean, big words for younger us, but I mean, at the time they were heists. Mm -hmm. But uh, he stops. Maybe old habits die hard. Speaking of which, is Hiran is he well to do? Yeah, actually, um, ah. he's pretty well off. He comes from a family of uh, well, a family of silversmiths um, and jewelers. So, um, actually, his dad knew uh, knew our family. Ah. Well, I. Uh, I look forward to meeting my future brother-in-law. Question. Maybe soon, maybe sometime. Um, he, as as he watches you do this, a big grin just crosses his face. Maybe it's a cloud passing in front of the sun or something. Just like his face darkens, like his. But he has a big, bright smile. All the same. Did you do it? No, shut up. You. You did. No, no, shut up. No. I'm not judging. 
I'm not. No, I'm. I'm happy. I. Uh. No, I'm. He he just gives you a, a a big hug and he's like, I guess. Norlai, are we? Are are we adults now? Huh. Feels kind of not too different. Maybe a little. Yeah, not not too different. Uh, you, you mostly just feel like, you know, hey, what, why, why am I expected to do this stuff? I couldn't do it last year. Yeah, like yeah. save the world and everything. Yeah. Complain how our man, my bones. Norley, I, I don't, I, I can't describe to you how achy my bones feel. Oh, uh, I mean, my my bones are achy too. It's been, there's been a lot of aching. Well. You ever have someone chew on your bones? It's not fun. I. Uh, do you mean that, like. We'll, 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 we'll get onto that topic later. Oh, um, okay. All right. Well, hey, look, I, I don't want it to be awkward. Look, we've been through a lot together. We're... I I want to... I don't want you to have to feel shy about stuff. I, I think... Look, Norlai, I, I don't want any more secrets from here on out. I'm... No running off. No... I... We're in this together, right? Yeah. And I, 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 I don't want to feel like I'm, like, I'm not competing against Tyrion, but, like, I don't want to lose you, but I also, like, don't want to let you go completely. I, I want to spend time with you, because apparently I haven't, and I just... I, I get... You know what? For a change, you... <laughs> I guess you're... Well, you're also... Height wise, kind of the big sister, but for a while you could be the big sister. You could tell me what's going on. You can mm -hmm. let me know what's happening. And also, I don't know if this is my real height. Um, you know, you know that magic stuff that happens sometimes. It made me tall. Oh well. So you, this will probably go away eventually. You, you wear it well. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, all right. I, uh... Oh, um... Hmm. There's one other thing you should probably know. Um... The, the, um... This probably isn't something you forgot, because you weren't there. Um... So, Mr. Halver... <gasps> um, yeah! Uh, there's two things about him. Uh, did you know he was a dragon? <laughs> the look of, like, the, ah? Uh, when it goes to, uh, uh, bewilderment. I know he was a tiefling, not a dragonborn. No, no, like, he, he was, like, an actual dragon, like, like big dragon, like, like that that big, uh, and uh, breathe breathe the uh, ice was silver. You know, there was another you... silver dragon, but that's a different one. You're you're pulling my tail. Uh, no, no, he 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 was a big old silver dragon, um, and. The whole time? Or is this a recent yeah, thing? Like, no, like the whole time he was a dragon. He was just disguised. Okay. Uh, sure. That's out of a fairy tale. Uh, but you know what? Who isn't right now? Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, well, you know what? I'd love to catch up with him. Uh, 
Yeah, that, that brings us to the second thing. Um, he... He passed away? Oh. Um, oh, like, what was he sick? Like, he, did he die in his sleep or something like that, at least? I mean, I, I, he was older, I know. No, um... So, he... He kind of got possessed by something. We think it was Shonaru. And, um, he, he fought with us. And... Uh, and he didn't... He didn't survive. Oh. Oh. Uh. Wow, that's... Yeah. I... Roth. And... He was a dragon? Mm -hmm. What? What did he look like? Um, he, he was silver, um, but the, there was a different silver dragon at some point, too. Um, you saw that one. That one was Casimir, um, who, um, was with the, our group for a while. Not while I was around, um, but, uh, he was with the group for a while, but we went to hell, and then when we were in hell, he turned into a dragon and, and tried to fight us. N Norlai, this is, uh, this is. And that's a lot. Well, it is, but that's all. Well, it is. Wow. How do I not underplay this, but also everything is so weird. Okay. Um, this was a dream, but you know what? Apparently dreams are coming true and not all of them are dreams. Some of them are nightmares. Um, the to to get to get more powerful uh cuz i wanted to go out and to you know help people um i i was why do i feel i, I was told that not only could i be someone who could save the world but the only price asked of me was a, a silver piece. Why? I... That seems... You telling me this, why is this making me think of why is it making me think of that? I agreed. Of course, a silver is cheap. I... For everything promised, I... I struck the deal and the price was paid and I, I didn't even... <laughs> I wasn't even out of pocket. I, I thought maybe I, I got lucky or something. So, so Shana tricked you. I... He... I mean, you, di you didn't know. But I, yeah, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know, but... Wait. I don't... I don't understand. Ooh. 
Why does everything now make me feel really guilty and sad? What, what did I do? If I didn't give a coin, what, what happened, Norelai? Well, if you didn't give a coin, I mean, you're possessed Mr. Halver. And Mr. Halver was a silver dragon. But dragons are supposed to be just powerful and why why would a dragon why would a dragon need to find strength like I did I, I don't know it was really sudden like we yeah I don't even remember what we were doing we went we went out into a fishing hut I think we're supposed to look for mushrooms or something. Oh. What did I do? I don't even think I did it. I, I, I don't... I swear, Norla, I, I don't... It's not that I'm even having trouble. I, I don't remember. I couldn't have even known. I, I, I didn't know Mr. Halver was a dragon. And I, I know that you're not... That you're not, you know, trying to play a trick on me by saying that. Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I, it's all the more reason, Norlai. Just because I learned something now still doesn't mean that I can't look forward, that I can't be a part of the future. I can't go back and fix whatever apparently I did, or even if I didn't do it and it was something else. I can only just try and be sorry and act on that and be a better person. I... I, I don't even know if I can or if I should, but I'll, I'll take responsibility for Mr. Halver's death. And, no, and we'll move forward together. You shouldn't. Don't, don't take responsibility for that. <laughs> you, you weren't even there. You, you couldn't have done anything. Oh. All right. I still... I, I don't know if my... I, I might even be at a loss for words, and I don't even know what they count, but just know, Norlai, I'm very, very sorry. I feel terrible. I I made... I remember choices I made before I couldn't remember choices that apparently I made. And I had all the best intentions. I had good intentions. I didn't want this to be like it is. Yeah. Well, for whatever I did or didn't do, just be honest with me. You forgive me? Mm hmm Are we in this together? Yeah, of course. Thank you, because... And he begins... He begins weeping. I really need this right now, Norelai. I really need... Oh... A rock or something I can hold on to. I need some kind of center. I need some kind of stability because I am... I'm trying to play it cool in front of your friends. But I am... Terrified. Right now. I, I, point me in a direction and I will go. And I will work along the way. But I am just... I'm scared. Okay. Um... 
I, I think the plan is that we're going to go back to um, we're going to go back to Old Port and rest up a bit because mm -hmm. I'm very tired. Um, so we're going to rest up a bit and then I think we're going to plan out from there, but uh, we, we might we might be attacking um, a thing called the Sky Shadow Leviathan. I, th I think that was the plan. It sounds it's cool, but it's probably also terrifying. Yeah, yeah, it's it's big. Um, but that that may or may not be the plan, but like we'll be able to go home and and rest, and and you can meet here, and and you can see the orphanarium uh, that we're building, and 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 check out the hidey holes. I um, you, you know, I I've never. I've never really heard you talk like this. Like you, you are, are you in this, Norlai? Are you? You, you want to fight this big scary monster? Well, not not really, but I kind of have to, um, because uh, you know my my friend's magic don't only really work against it. Um, but if we don't stop the monster, then you know what's what's the point of the orphanarium if the world's gonna end? Oh, are are you the are you not the leader? No. Uh, I think Mordecai's the leader. He kind of makes most of the decisions, and he also talks to a lot of people. Well, well words are wind, but Norlai, if they sounds like they need you, like. If you're the only one who can do this, I mean, I'm not saying they owe you, but I'm. If you want some advice, I think you could very easily be the leader here. No, uh, that's fine. I'm, I'm not really leaderish. Um. Maybe no, you I... weren't before, Norlai. Time has passed. Look at you. You're, uh, you're well taller. Uh, you also, I mean, you are gorgeous. Uh, you have done a lot of growing up in a little bit of time. And apparently you have this incredible power that everyone relies on you for. Why aren't you insinuating yourself as the leader then? Do you know the leverage I... you could get over them? Um, I mean, in a yeah, good way. I, I, I get it. They're, they're your friends, but... Also, come on, there's opportunity here. Oh, I, I just, uh, I, I haven't really thought about it. Because... Well, think yeah. about it! I'll back you uh, up! Look at that. Norlai, leader of the... Uh, people. Do you, do you have a name? Chroma, Chroma Company. Chroma Company? We're, yeah, we're all color-coded for your convenience. Oh, well. A lot of cool colors. Bright stands out. There was also a green and a and a black at one point and a uh I, I guess Casimir was more of a brown. Um uh Cy Cypher was kind of purple too. Yeah, so cool colors. Really... You could have been like yeah, the I cool guess... dudes or something. Chroma, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, honestly, we weren't we weren't as color coded as I originally thought. Well, fine, whatever you call yourselves, I will be a part of the the Chroma Company as well. Yeah. I'm, I mean, well, we kind of match if there's room for two purples. Yeah. But I mean, Celine wears purple too, so there's already like a lot of purple. <sighs> well, this is awkward, and one of us is gonna have to change, and it's not me. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be Celine. He, and, and Norla, you can tell that he's trying to, I mean, his emotions before were real. And this is, this is Loki as you are remembering him. Like he's kind of deflecting. This is a, a bit of a defensive measure for him as well. Trying to laugh about things or, you know, talk about a bright future if things are looking bleak right now. So like, he's not like desperately coping, but this is, 
this is the Loki that you know. This is your mm-hmm. brother that you've been around, you know. Uh, fine. You know what? You have my vote. I think you're the leader of the Chroma Company. I'm going to put my weight behind you. And I think that I think that you need a strong voice. And if you don't feel like speaking up, I'll speak up on your behalf. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I, I, I still don't know about leader, but like maybe I could do like second in command. No, no, no. No? You, you got this. You've earned this. You are, look, look at everything. You, you are making an orphanarium with hidey holes. You are going to, Mary question mark a a, a a rich uh well I'm sorry I was gonna say snob I don't know maybe he's a snob maybe not no no he's not a snob. you're gonna marry a rich dude you're gonna be super wealthy you are you've you've gone to a ball hmm? I haven't gone to a ball you've gone to a ball well you should come to the next one you've done all of this stuff you've done all of the adulting. Yeah. And you yeah, need, definitely. and and so you need to, you need to step up here. Think of this: the the Amosite name. Just everyone will be talking. Oh well, that's if he takes. He could. He should take. He should take our name, right? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we should do like like the, the hyphen. Oh, just, all right, fine. Yeah, if ours is first, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Our, right here and right now, Norlai, you and me under this tree, this is it. This is our childhood dream come true. The, We're going to save the world. People are going to know us. We're going to be rich. We're going to... We're, we're going to have things... And we don't have to take orders from people. We can be the ones to give them. We can be the meaningful people. It's our yeah. time now, Norali. I don't suppose here in... I don't know. Know someone who might be available? Well, I can I can always introduce you to people at a ball. Yeah, I, I have to go I have to go to another gala to, to get money for the orphanarium, anyways. I promise I'll I'll clean up well. I I can get a replacement for the. Do you know what happened to my horn? No, honestly, I it just wasn't there. The one uh, don't know what happened. Now, out of character, are you not... Do you know and you're not telling him, or...? Uh, out of character, I don't think she was present, so she doesn't actually know what happened. Okay. In character, I believe it was, like, when the tower exploded. Yes. Yes. Yeah, as, so, like... She wasn't there. <laughs> it, it came up as evidence in the investigation about things. But yeah, okay. Nora was already gone by then. She has no clue. Okay, all right. Huh. All right. Well, we're gonna go you out. Let's and... just get like little gold caps for for your back points. Oh, don't know that that the of part's course. missing. Although, hey, I can advertise for your your lover. I'll wear silver. Ooh, silver, yeah. You wouldn't mind making them too. Thank you. Oh, everything's coming together. Norlai, we get, like he gets you by the shoulders and is like, he's not like violently shaking you like. Bleh. Our dream is coming true. We, we we have a home in this orphanarium, but not like as orphans. Any well, we are, but we're not. We won't be. You know what I'm saying? Everything is here, Norlai. Everything we wanted is before us, and we got a world to save. We got a future. We have wealth. We have people. We have. Balls?
I... I feel bad for the things that have caught, but maybe it's led to good. Oh. Do you, do you feel the same way? Or, or I, this is positive, right? We yeah. just gotta go beat up a monster, and we're good. Yeah, that's that's where the hangups are. Why you have unlimited cosmic power or whatever? You can. It, it's it's not that unlimited. It is very cosmic, though. Um, hence why I'm so tired. Oh, well... I, um, I, I need to take, like, nap for, like, a week. And then... And then I can go I... fight Big Bad Monster. Okay, well, I... Don't sleep for a week. You gotta eat, you know? You... Yeah, but, like, not... Move. Oh. I, I need to stay in bed. All right. Well, that's that's fine. I'm. Once you get better, mm -hmm. we got this. Yeah. You and me. Your friends are along for the ride too. This is. Norlai, I I actually I feel. A weight is off of my shoulders, and. Looking around, I mean, this is, this is everything, this is what we've talked about, and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. Oh, I am so, my brain is everywhere right now. Um, anyway, yeah, if, if you gotta take a nap or something, go, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I, I think we could all use a little bit of a break right now. And on that note, everyone, yeah. we're gonna take a break, and we'll be back in about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go nice smooth transition into our break screen so we'll be back in about uh at 8 45 uh, p.m everyone we'll see you then and then we'll finish out uh we'll have about uh, a little bit over an hour as we continue things along uh so be well if you have any uh subs to re-up or bits or something uh take a look at the break screen as there's going to be a fun little effect that will take place uh over bright the gnome's cupcake and um yeah enjoy it so we will see you soon Bye.